Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Austin from Wingfield Media and today it's time for a brand new video. This can be the most, I think, comprehensive troubleshooting guide out there for those struggling to use OBS. If you're having black, black screen issues, crashes, I'll be trying to cover all of that in this video. I've got 10 solutions which could be used to potentially save your OBS and help you to get, to get started streaming or recording for YouTube. So the first method is going to be, it might insult your intelligence, I don't really mean to, but the first method is going to just, just simply be restarting your PC and, you know, turning it back on. I, I know that it sounds kind of mundane to even mention it, but I know there's a lot of people out there that probably are struggling from this issue, but restarting your computer, so turning it off, turning it back on, and then launching OBS again might actually solve it. I used to work at a tech store for years, and whenever I used to receive, or clients used to come in saying they're having issues with their PCs, first thing we would do is turn them off turn them back on and quite often about maybe 75% of the time that would actually just solve the problem so if you have issues with a PC just always just try turning it off and then turning it back on all right so the second method I have is gonna be quite straightforward it's just gonna simply be running as an admin so what you, what you want to do here is you want to just type in OBS or go to wherever it's saved uh, you want to right click it go to run as admin and then you get a little pop-up window just click yes and then OBS will launch now one of two things will happen your black screen issues will be gone or they won't be. Now, what I tend to find is that either it works for people or it doesn't. It, this solution didn't work for me. When I actually try to close the program after I run as an administrator, I actually get an issue that it typically actually crashes on me sometimes, which is kind of odd, I know. But sometimes the admin either fixes your black screen issue or it doesn't work at all and just makes the situation worse. So it might, it might just crash your OBS, that's fine. It's not responding as you can see here. Give it a second, it'll disappear. But running as an admin is definitely a good step to take because I know it worked for some people and definitely doesn't work for some others. So my third solution is going to be trying with different sources. So I know for a fact that OBS is used for a variety of different reasons. Whether that's game capture or tutorials like what I do here, uh, you wanna make sure you're actually using the right sources. So for example, I'm actually gonna delete my display capture just so I can demonstrate how this works. So you wanna go ahead and try and add a new source and now if you're recording games I recommend you try using display capture basically if you're recording, typically most games you're gonna be playing are gonna be full screen am I right well if they are I recommend you just use display capture so how that works is display capture captures everything that's on the screen so whatever's on whatever is on the most whatever's on the top of the screen OB, um, OBS will actually record with game capture it'll just record a specific window now I don't like doing game capture because sometimes for example if I were to add a brand new one game capture test uh, you, I, you always have to, to do capture specific window quite often I won't have the right window on, especially if you do like weird Java or flash games online you might have some issues there as well so just keep in mind that this might not necessarily work for you what I recommend trying is using a display capture instead and just recording your entire screen so you won't even see a difference especially if you do full screen content it'll all be the exact same so I recommend trying different sources even window capture is quite interesting as well this could also work too if you are recording uh, like internet games and like flash games and java games and selecting that like, your google chrome window for example window capture could work for that as well so definitely try out the different capture options that are available to you and see what works best my fourth solution is quite straightforward just make sure you're on the right version of obs what you want to do is go to the help tab at the top go to check for updates if a pop-up appears it means you're on the old version of obs like I said, you shouldn't be on OBS Classic as well. OBS Classic is so, so, so old. OBS Studio has been around for well over a year now, so if you're not on OBS Studio, definitely up make the make the jump and make the upgrade. And to make sure you are on the right Windows, or sorry, a version of OBS, just to double check, see this number on the top left corner, I'm on 21.1.0. Make sure that's the same as the OBS website. So go to the obsproject.com, go to the download page. You can see they're currently on version 21.1.2, but this is a very, very minor a difference from what I'm currently running on and my OBS runs fine so I have nothing to really complain about but make sure that if you are having crashes and black screen issues make sure that you're actually on the exact same version. Now my fifth solution is gonna be a bit more in depth so, so what you want to do this time is you want to make sure that you're running the right version of OBS. I'm not sure if you know this but actually when you install OBS you actually install the 32-bit as well as the 64-bit. So if you know what that means it means that if you're on the 32-bit and you run the 64-bit of OBS you might actually get a crash. So what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom of the corner of your screen, type in control panel, and then you want to go to system and security, go to system, and then view what type of system type you have. So as you can see, I have 64-bit operating system, so that means I have to run the 64-bit version of OBS. So what you want to do now is you want to go to OBS, wherever it's saved, go right-click, open file location. I've already done that, and here it is. Since I'm running the 64-bit version of OBS, it takes me to this folder here. And as you can see, OBS 64 should be highlighted. Now, you want to go back to the bin folder, and you're going to find two different versions. 32-bit 
and 64-bit folders. You want to make sure that you want to run OBS from the correct folder. So if, since mine's a 64-bit, I want to go to the 64-bit folder and run OBS 64. If I have a 32-bit, I want to go to the 32-bit the folder and run OBS 32. That's one solution right there, so make sure you're running the correct version of OBS. So my sixth solution to this problem is going to be compatibility mode. Believe it or not, OBS does not ver run very well in Windows 10. So I've seen a lot of people online suggesting that you try running it in Windows 7, which is kind of odd. This is a very simple change to do, by the way. Don't, don't be concerned. You don't have to install Windows 7 or anything fancy like that. All you have to do is go to the correct version of OBS that you'll be, that you'll be running. So for me, that's uh, OBS 64. So you want to right-click that application, go to Properties, go to Compatibility tab at the top, and go to Compatibility Mode. You want to run this program in Compatibility Mode for Windows 7, then you want to click Apply. Believe it or not, that actually works. I don't know why. Don't ask me how this works, but this tends to be a very popular solution online for getting OBS to work. So at this point, try running OBS if you get a black screen or not, and just you know see, it, see what happens. See if this solution fixes your problem. Now my seventh solution to this problem is going to be a bit more in depth. Uh, what you want to do is you want to right click your desktop, you want to go to something called NVIDIA Control Panel. Don't panic if you don't see NVIDIA Control Panel. This only works for people who have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you, don't have an, if you have an AMD graphics card, I'll get to you in just a second. So first things first, when you, get to, when you open up your tab for NVIDIA Control Panel, you want to go to Manage 3D Settings, then click on the Program Settings tab. Now, your computer will look very different from mine because my computer is very, very old. I built my computer when I was in junior high, like eight years ago. So it doesn't have the proper, my graphics card is quite old, so it has different settings. What you want to do is, I found this screen grab online of what your, your uh, NVIDIA experience tab should look like. So let me, let me double, double click, and here we go. So you want to go to program settings, you want to go to select a program to customize, you want to go to the drop down box here and select OBS. Then on the second step, you want to, you know, it asks you to select the preferred graphics card or graphics processor for this program. You want to go from the optimized version and select the integrated graphics version. Then you want to click apply at the bottom right corner of the screen. It's very, very straightforward. This will make a huge difference. Mainly if you have a discrete graphics card and you're using it for your video game, I might not like it if you try to use it to record your video game as well. So try using integrated graphics for OBS. This should work if you're on an NVIDIA computer. Solution 8 is going to be for AMD users. If you right-click your desktop and go to the AMD user experience or something along those lines, AMD Catalyst. I haven't had an AMD graphics card in like 8 years, I completely forget. But you go to the AMD control panel, whatever it's called, then you'll look at, you want to go to a page which looks a lot like this. So you want to go to switchable graphics application settings, then you want to go to uh, all applications down below. Find OBS, you want to go to graphics setting, change it from high performance to power saving. It changes everything and it makes it all work perfectly and smoothly. Basically, uh, what high performance does is it makes it use your graphics card to both play the game as well as uh, record the screen, which you want to actually differentiate it with power saving. The graphics card is used to actually record the screen and your CPU is used to, uh, CPU is used to record the screen and the GPU is used to actually produce the image. That's how it works. So it change your AMD settings to power saving and that'll make a huge, huge difference. My second last solution is gonna be checking if any other programs are actually using any sort of screen capture device on your computer. So if you wanna to go to control, alt, delete, go to task manager, and then go to uh, processes at the top tab. You wanna open it up and see if anything else is using anything that OBS could also be trying to use. So for example, when I try to record my PS4 gameplay with OBS and I already have my Elgato game capture uh, program on, it actually doesn't work. It won't let me record anything and I'll get a black screen. So you wanna make sure that you're using the correct or you wanna make sure that there's no other programs on in the background which are using the exact same ap uh, applications and hardware that OBS wants to use. So make sure there's no contradicting programs out there. So big thing is you want to just scroll through and see if anything could possibly be interfering. For me, there's nothing here that could possibly interfere, so I should be okay. Um, but if you do see anything that does interfere, you want to click it. Then you want to go to the end task button. It's quite straightforward. It's quite easy to use. Lastly, my 10th point is going to be uninstalling and reinstalling OBS. I know this sounds kind of depressing and sad, but if it's not working at this point, you got to do a fresh start. you got to uninstall OBS and reinstall it. To uninstall program, it's quite simple. You want to go add or remove programs. And then you uh, you want to scroll down and you want to, you can search the list for OBS. Then you just want to simply click it and click uninstall. Then you want to reinstall with the downloaded installer package. It's quite straightforward. 
and uh, I hope this helps. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did and it helped you out, definitely drop a like rating down below. It means the absolute world to me. I know uh, using OBS can be very frustrating and <laughs> tedious, so if this managed to help you out, a like rating would go, uh, you know, it would definitely mean a lot. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, requests for future videos, leave it all down in the comments. I read it all and try to apply it to as much as I can. If you're having issues, check the other comments to see if someone else has already answered it in some sort of forum or chain style response. Now, I have Rawback channel reviews, so if you want me to go over your channel with you, you know, just some like one-on-one -on -one YouTube tutoring. I've been on this platform for eight years, so I know a fair amount. I'd love to help you out with your tags, description, thumbnails, titles, uh, content even. I'd love to help you out with your channel in general. So if you want to DM me on Twitter, my Twitter is in the description. Send me a, a, a tweet or a DM with your channel link, and I'd love to help you out. Now, subscribe for more creator-centric content like this in the near future, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.